welcome to the channel. This is a 303 case. This is a 303 case with the top of it missing. And this die is where the top is stuck in. You can see it just if you look inside, there's a little bit of brass right at the top. So we have broken off a case inside a full sizing die. Now, no need to panic, I have already uttered the correct number of expletives. I'm not sure how to proceed here. I have in the past removed all sorts of uh, dies from all sorts of cases, but I've never had one that actually where the top broke off. So this is kind of like new ground for me. My initial thought here is that I hit it with some WD-40, but I doubt that'll achieve anything. I mean, to have broken off this, the, the neck of this uh, case must have been really tightly wedged inside the top of the, uh, of the die. I think the other thing that's worth mentioning here is that if we have any idea of prodding at this with metal tools, um, I have this little brass punch and I'm really tempted just to give it a whack. But the trouble there is that if we scratch this die on the inside, it is very difficult to polish out a scratch inside one of these full sizing dies. Now I've had several attempts doing it and I can, I can usually remove the scratch but somehow it returns. And I don't know why. I'll, I'll have to mess with it one of these days. I'll make a, a, a video about it. What's my plan? Well, I could hit it with lube, but I think these two pieces must be very tightly stuck together. My initial thought would be to blow torch it and maybe kind of like anneal the brass. And um, I might still do that, but I don't think I'll do it right now. Now we're doing uh, 303 British. And 303 British, the neck here is 340, and of course the head is 311. We don't need to look up that up. But these 8mm bolts here that I use for my desk, well, the front of those is 306. And so I'm wondering whether I can thread. See, I fit clean through here, but the one that's stuck in here. I hit something. I don't get, I don't go clean through and I'm just wondering whether I could perhaps thread this. And I think that's where I start. I think if I thread it and then whack it, that, that strikes me as the safest way to get somewhere. So we'll screw this guy in. And then we will have a look what we have for an 8mm thread. I wonder whether that bit of brass is twisting. That strikes me as very odd. I think I might just gently tap this. Ah and there it is. Well then, that was easier than I thought. We're going to have a very short video. I did not expect that. I thought I'd have a ride on my hand here. I thought I'd for sure write this die off, but there it is. That worked rather quickly, didn't it? Look at it. So I just twisted it in, and this clearly started spinning. And then out it came. Now, to be fair, full disclosure, I did give it a squirt of the old uh, blowtorch just to anneal it. Just couldn't help myself, kind of like gut reaction, you know, something gets stuck in there, you hit it with a blowtorch. So I did that briefly and then I thought, no, actually, this might be worth a video. But yeah, it's come out. So yeah, that's that. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.